What's up everyone, in this video I want to go through some of the highlights for the version 1.1 for the procedural building. So the main features of version 1.1 is a procedural porch and also Unreal Engine integration. New features are powered by new digital assets and anyone who buys this work file will also get 45 minutes long video where I go through all the new changes where basically I go through all the changes between version 1.0 and 1.1. So basically, uh, if I open this up, so basically you are going to get a new, new zip file with updated HDAs and also on new HDAs and also 45 minute long video for you to see all the changes and how can you start working on your own procedural building and where to start edit your porches on porch and how to integrate it inside Unreal Engine. And also in the video I talk about how to basically send it to the Unreal Engine and this is the end at end I got something like this where I basically I have sent my building to the Unreal Engine in six parts and if we go ahead and drag all these parts out you can see we have our building. And I also talk about how to assign different materials for each part of this geometry. So all of these is covered in the video that you will get if you buy this uh, hip file. So uh, let me go through these very quickly highlights of this update. So first of all is the porch. So the porch is its own, uh, its own sub network now. So inside here you can see that what we have here is and the porch is actually powered by the new digital assets. So the porch is actually 100% procedural, you can swap out any part of it and change the shape however you want. And for the entries, you can just use them like a box where you can carve out wherever you want your entries to be. And also that is powered by new digital assets that I'm also providing. So the porch is a really nice and some of the features that we are using something like roof is basically the copy of the main roof workflow where we are just creating a new uh, single uh, roof uh, tile and everything here is so this is for the porch and for the geometry export export we have a new setup which is basically use utilizing the multi unreal material uh, node that i showcased in my previous video where we basically take all the groups and all the groups and apply uh, apply a different Unreal Material attribute value and then we just split them out and save them as its own as a combination basically then we combine these groups into its own different into bigger pieces that are uh, relevant as its own geometry file on disk and then we basically just go ahead and, and import it inside Unreal Engine so I cover also that in the in the extra video that you will get if you buy this uh, procedural building. So this is for geometry export very quickly. And also another highlight is the uh, is the trims. So what's cool about uh, trims? Now trims are powered by version 2.0 trim tool. You can see they are a little bit more nicer, actually a lot nicer, and they are more sophisticated. So if you go ahead, you will have you will have a new sub network. And in the new subnetwork, I have a one preview material for the UVing, just to see, uh, just to see how UVs look. And what's cool about this is that now the whole trim version is going to be 2.0, and the trim uh, profile is actually going to be power powered by the by the uh, ramp parameter. So you can see that we can go ahead and uh, make we can basically control the profile of the control the profile of the trim with a ramp parameter so this is a really nice way to create different profiles for your doors and also for the and also for the windows so this is what trim is actually really nice it came out very nice because now I have very easily I can create two different trims for for the for the doors and for the windows and these are the main features of the version 1.1 so anyone who has already bought this work file will get it for free and also 45 minute extra video that explains changes between uh, version 1.1 and 1.0. So in the future I am planning to introduce uh, new features like uh, 
of uh, so right now once we have sent our geometry to unreal engine we do not have collisions so it's definitely something that i'm looking into and also start to think about how can we lay out our building inside so basically see some floors and some stairs so all of these are planned updates in the future for this building uh, generator and all of these updates are going to be also free for anyone who has bought it bought this uh, work file already so i hope you find this video useful and if you like it please support my work so hope you learned something and see you next time